Welcome back to Jam Ant to a brand new video. In this video, we are finally adding my queen ant and all her workers and eggs and pupa and larva into a terrarium. If you saw our last video, I figured out that there were some female workers that were in this test tube and it's an actual fertile queen. So get ready, buckle in because this is gonna be an awesome video. All right, so about five months ago, I actually found a queen ant um, outside and I decided to capture her because I had, did previously have a queen ant in this terrarium and she had some workers and stuff and I was super excited but unfortunately there was a mold growth and I don't really know why it might have just been something in here that ended up killing the colony so I decided to scrub this entire enclosure out let it dry out and everything uh, so we'll be able to keep these ants in this enclosure so currently this queen ant is in a test tube setup and what that means is this is just a basic little test tube and this little section there's water in there's a cotton ball in between it and then there's cotton at the end and in between there there's the queen ant where she can lay eggs which eventually become larva and then pupa and then those pupa eventually become worker ants and these worker ants help take care of food finding just building the kingdom and the home and everything so that is awesome but now that there are more workers in there they actually require a source of food whether that be some protein like some parts of insects insects or some like sugar water or something like that so it's kind of hard to feed them inside this test tube so that is why I'm going to be adding them to this new enclosure um, this is going to be a lot of fun because I've always wanted to have a huge ant kingdom unfortunately the first time it didn't work out so this time hopefully it will so in this video what we have to do is we have to line the top of this with some petroleum jelly to make sure that the ants cannot escape because that would be really bad if I have ants crawling around and my mom would probably kill me so once we are done with that what I'm gonna end up doing is actually let me do this really quick so this is just a toilet paper roll and I'm putting the little uh, test tube in there because the ants prefer darkness so they do not like to be disturbed with all these bright lights so I'm just keeping them in here for now so yeah after this is lined so they can't escape I'm going to add the test tube to this enclosure and I'm gonna allow them to start moving in there are a couple different places for them to go and they can hide in these little chambers it's going to be great for them because they can start expanding and growing their kingdom and I know I keep saying kingdom but I honestly want to have thousands of ants and I think it would be so awesome to have a massive enclosure I might even make like a paddlerium which is half land half water so I could have some aquariums and maybe some ants in the same setup which I would love to have that so after that's done we're gonna have to recreate that water setup so I'm gonna be adding water to this test tube and using that cotton and this is where their source of water is going to come from and then once we're done with that I'm gonna create some sugar water put a couple droplets in here just to entice them and give them a snack while they move in okay I know this is a lot but honestly this is something I've waited to do for so long so I think first things first let's take the lid off Oh my gosh. Although this lid is very tight and nothing can really escape, when I'm doing maintenance and I lift this up, I want the petroleum jelly to prevent any of the ants from escaping. There's a couple different things. I could use baby powder or other things to prevent them from walking across, but honestly, petroleum jelly works really well and it's something I have on hand. Oh, also make sure you stay to the end because I do have my macro lens on this camera, so we'll be able to get some really cool close-ups of the ants moving in. So if you're looking forward to that, comment down below. But uh, let's get started. So I'm going to open this up. I have a Q-tip so I don't have to get that all over my hands. And I usually use petroleum jelly for keeping my millipede enclosure protected and also hissing cockroaches. But all I'm doing is a thin line at the top. And this is just a little barrier that prevents them from escaping. All right, so now that the barrier is protected, uh, I'm, I'm now safe and I don't need to worry about them escaping and a quick thing I really like this enclosure I like that it's like kind of an orange clay style enclosure it's that that nice color it looks really cool it kind of looks like a Martian surface which is really cool because I'm always a fan of space and Mars so that's really awesome I think it is time to add the ants in so I'm just gonna take them off really quick I'm going to get my camera so I can get some shots of these guys because while they're in this enclosure I don't know how many opportunities I'll get uh, to film them. The workers are very tiny and I feel like they just need some food to help them be able to grow up and develop. The female queen ant is pretty big and she does look healthy um, but once we get her in this enclosure she should do a lot better. Uh, the, the one thing that I am worried about is just like if it's too big for them. It's not really a bad thing if the enclosure is too big. Um, they might just not treat it like a nest. They might add mess and stuff and like try putting their waste in, inside the tubes, which I don't really have to worry about. We are going to be upgrading this eventually to my own terrarium setup, but for now this will work fine. I think I'm just going to open it up. I had put the cotton in there and this way ants will just naturally go out. Oh, I'm so nervous. I haven't opened this thing for so long. Okay. And I also found a really great thing about this. This enclosure is like the perfect size and it's able to store a test tube. So once I fill this test tube up with water, I'll be able to add it in there and I'll be able to replace it whenever it's empty, 
Um, but let me see what's going on in here. So the queen ant is still staying in there and the little worker ants are still in there. Um, I don't know if I want to tap them out at all. I could shine a light that might convince them to want to go in. It's kind of cool because they're moving like their antenna and I think they're just like communicating. I know they use pheromones and other things to try communicating, but let me shine a light. I see one little worker starting to explore, but this is very stressful for him. So I don't want to, I don't want to make it too bad for him. And I'm also pretty stressed as well. Just making sure that these guys do okay. All right, so the queen ant is over there. It looks like the workers are kind of staying back. There is one worker that did leave and he's currently standing over there or she is. Okay, while this is happening, we're gonna start doing the other stuff that we have to do. Um, I'm gonna put the lid on kind of lightly. I'm not gonna seal it just so it's easier to take off. So what we have to do is make our sugar water. So sugar water is just sugar and water. Um, that's not very complicated, but I also am going to probably use honey and some other things in this. It's just a good snack and it's really energetic for them. Um, I do also want to add some proteins and other things to mix up their diet, but for now, this is what we're gonna add. So I do have this little hose and we're just gonna spray some water and I have a little pipette and we're gonna stir the water and the sugar together. Now this is definitely a lot of sugar and a lot of water and I'm definitely not gonna be able to put this much in the terrarium. Um, I'm probably just gonna put like a little drop honestly, but. Okay, so while the water starts dissolving, I'm gonna fill up this test tube with some water so that it has some hydration. And if you guys have ants and you wanna fill up a test tube uh, with water or with ants, check out wildpetsupply.com where you can pick up some from me directly. So now I'm adding cotton and this prevents the ants from like drowning in the water. All right, and now we have a hydration, a little water place for them to to drink water from. So I only see a couple ant workers getting out. I don't really see them helping move anything. And the queen seems to still be in there. Okay, so I think some of the eggs fell out and I see a couple of the workers trying to push the eggs in instead of taking them out. That worker right there has an egg. Oh, uh, this is kind of annoying. I honestly feel if I leave them in here overnight that they probably would move in. Um, I don't know if I want to add this test tube necessarily right now or wait, um, but I will add a little droplet of sugar water just to entice them a little bit more. So I think I'm going to hold off on adding this water test tube and just hopefully let these ants move in overnight. So I'm going to seal this and then I guess I will come back tomorrow. So I will see you guys later. What's up? Welcome back. Just full disclosure, I'm actually filming this video a couple days later because just time went away. I was also editing the footage and I noticed I had like paint on my hands and that's because I was painting my garage and it was, it was a dirty project so in case you were curious, it was kind of distracting when I was looking at the footage but I think I don't have any left on me so we are good. So I have some amazing news about the ant farm and what's going on with our queen ant. So again, this has been a couple days and what ended up happening was I had the test tube in there um, with the queen ant and everything, and she was kind of staying in the test tube. The workers decided to go out through the caves in the ant farm, but she stayed in the test tube, and I was kind of annoyed because I was like, I want you to move into this new home because I got this new home for you. So it was just annoying, so I decided to actually open up this container, take the test tube, shake it a little bit, and she came out, and then I removed the test tube, made sure that there were no eggs, larvae, or any baby workers in there, and then I got rid of that tube. So once all that was done, we were finally left with this enclosure and I let them sit for a couple days. I ended up putting some honey in this enclosure. I don't know if they've really eaten it or noticed it, um, but it is in there. That's just a sugary source of food for them. I do need to get some more protein food for them in the future, but I have some amazing news. When I was looking over, I couldn't really see her at all in this enclosure and I couldn't really see any workers. Then I looked inside with my flashlight and I saw some baby workers on the inside. And I've currently placed a piece of paper preventing her from like seeing tons of light because that can stress her out. Um, but yeah, this, this paper is kind of protecting her, but she has uh, quite a few workers and I've also noticed some new eggs. So she might be adapting to this enclosure better than I thought. Another really cool thing is the fact that I added a second test tube. This test tube is refilled and filled with water, um, which is going to be a great hydration source for this enclosure. Not only does it add a constant supply of water, it also just helps keep the humidity in this little enclosure well. Now, one downside with this enclosure is the fact that there are no vents on this enclosure. So Basically what that means, there's like no way for air to escape, but there's also no way that ants could escape. So what I have to end up doing is start drilling some tiny holes in here just so there's some airflow because it can be bad if there's stagnant air because they don't have anything to breathe, you know? Um, they, they need air, you know, just in case that was something you didn't know. Now, a quick thing to any of my ant experts or anyone that is experienced in the hobby, if you know what species of ant I have, Please, please comment that down below. I really want to know what these guys are. I am from southern eastern Wisconsin, um, so I don't know if that's like a native ant species. They are kind of orangish. 
The baby workers are very small right now. I haven't really seen any get any bigger, but that might just because um, they're not getting that much food yet. So if you do know that, please comment that down below. That would be amazing. Um, I would really like to know what species, and then I'd also be able to create a better enclosure more suited to them. Now besides this queen ant colony, I have been trying to find some more queen ants. It is kind of the nuptial flight time period um, during the end of the summer with the humidity rising, and I'm trying to look for a queen ant or two just so I have some more other than the one just in this enclosure. So yeah, I'm trying to look for them. I don't know if I'll be able to find any this season. Hopefully though, because I would love having a couple different terrariums for them. So that is going to be it for this video. I hope you enjoyed. Make sure you hit the like button. Make sure you hit the subscribe button. Tell me if you want some more insect videos and ant videos. I'd love to make them. And if you do know any of the uh, types of ants that this could be, please comment them down below. I really want to get that information ASAP. I hope you guys have a great one. Follow me on Instagram at James Moreland and also also add me on Snapchat at the Gym Motion. I'll see you guys in the next one. Take it easy. Peace. Wapow.